It's finally Friday. And I got a long Christmas break in front of me. I took three days off on top of Christmas and New Year's. I pretty much am going to hunt every day for the rest of the pheasant season. Which is something to be happy about, but also something to be sad about. Right now I'm on a wildlife management area that I love to hunt at least a couple times a year. Um, there's some grass right here. Some grassy stuff here. Cattail marsh there. But once you get back there, maybe 200 yards back, um, most of this WMA is, is just a gigantic cattail slough. Uh, and there's a, a cornfield up on that edge over there. Uh, so that's where we're going to head is over to there and hopefully find a nice rooster. But it is the end of my week, and so that means I got some splaining to do. Let's see. So last Saturday, I took my wonderful wife out on a not-so-wonderful grouse hunt. I mean, it was great to walk in the woods and all, but uh, the birds were less than abundant. It is a fine Saturday afternoon in central Minnesota, and I am out on a date night, hunt night, with Sarah, who's hiding behind me because she doesn't want to be on the camera. She probably deserves more camera time than she's ever going to take, because if I didn't have such an amazing wife... If I didn't have such an amazing wife, there's no way that I would be able to hunt this much. Most of my friends don't get to hunt this much. No, but everybody needs to know that I owe all of my hunting time to this lady here. I love you. <laughs> We have a fresh coat of snow, and uh, there's no wind, so it's nice and silent, so it's very nice. But we just got back from our first spot, and we didn't see any grouse. So we're going to head to the next spot and hope for something a little better. Right? The next day, Sunday, I went out on a pheasant hunt. It's Sunday morning. I'm out on a wildlife management area. Sarah had some errands to run in town, so she dropped me off. And the plan is, I've got about a three mile hike. She's got about two hours worth of shopping to do. And uh, she's gonna pick me up on the other side. Hopefully we run into some birds in between here and there. That was flipping intense. We're 300 yards from where I shot that rooster. Daisy, Remy, come. I knew that he was crippled as soon as I shot, and I knew it was going to be tough to find him in those cattails. So I took my hat off, set it on the ground, took a shotgun shell and pointed it directly in the direction I saw him fall so I had a marker to come back to. And we went in, looked for him, didn't find him, came back out, went back in, came back out, went back in. And I had actually just given up. And we got to this edge, still working in the direction he had fallen and would seem likely for him to have run. And Daisy got really, really birdie. Ramnar went on point, 
and I walked, I had to have stepped on him. I walked right over the area where Remnar was on point. And usually once you do that, Remnar will move off and, and try and relocate the spot. And he was adamant, right there. That's where I'm pointing. <clears throat> so I looked down and I could see a rooster tail sitting there. So we got him, didn't lose him. I, I was pretty much done. I thought we, I thought he was gone for good. So that's good. Now I just have, I'm literally like, just by the parking lot where Sarah left me and I still have to walk three miles and I've blown a half an hour. Great. Well, I got good and bad problems. I just shot a second rooster and I've only got two and a half miles left to walk to get to the other side where Sarah's supposed to pick me up in two hours. Well, about an hour and a half from now. So I only have one bird left to shoot and the way that this edge is going, I'm going to be, I'll probably find him. Well, that's the good problem to have. The bad problem is that the camera was off when I just looked at it. I don't know when it turned off. It could have been during the first bird that I shot. It could have been after, it could have been during this bird. I have no idea. I might have nothing. I don't know. Which is gonna be a real bummer if I have nothing. A real, real bummer. Well, this has been some really good hunting in the just over half mile of this WMA that I've covered, we've probably flushed a couple dozen birds, including the two roosters that I've shot. But I'll never make it over to the other side where Sarah's supposed to pick me up in time. So I'm gonna call her and go back to where she dropped me off. And uh, hopefully there's just a odd straggler that we missed on the way back, but it's a good spot. I'm definitely going to have to come back because I've there's a lot of land left to cover that I never even touched. And now it's Friday today and I'm going to take off and uh, hopefully have some luck. boy Rem. So probably 20 birds got up off of this edge and flew into the cattails over there. And a couple roosters held a little longer than they should have. And I got one of them. It's got a huge tail. It's a really big rooster. I've got a lot of hunting left to do. Uh, it's uh, December 22nd today. Our season closes January 1st. And I've got the whole time off to hunt as much as possible. So it's going to be really, really cold, so we'll see what happens. But that's it. That's the end of episode 13. I appreciate you watching. See ya.